Welcome to my Denver vlog! This is my sister and I arriving at the airport. It was such a blessing to be able to take this trip. The tickets to Denver were cheap, but I still kept flip-flopping about whether or not I was actually going to book them. But after a year and a half of being inside and recently getting the vaccine, I really needed to nurture my sense of adventure again. And I am actively practicing choosing love over fear in all areas of my life, so I booked the ticket. Okay, so first we took the train from the airport to Union Station. One great thing about Denver is that it has public transportation. Man, I miss that. The metro and the bus systems go all over the city and to surrounding suburbs. After we arrived in Union Station, we had our first meal of the day at Snooze. This place got a lot of hype online, but I was honestly underwhelmed. The food looked better than it tasted. And I feel so bad saying that because the staff was so kind, but I'm just giving my honest opinion. But don't you guys worry, a lot of the vacation was dedicated to great food and Denver is a foodie town, so they came through. We went on a scooter art tour. My sister actually found this tour through Airbnb. And when she found this tour, I wasn't too enthused by the idea. I just wasn't expecting much. But boy, I was wrong. This scooter tour was one of the biggest highlights of the trip. We found out that Denver takes a lot of pride in their art scene. The city government and small businesses commission these stunning murals on a regular basis. We saw so many beautiful pieces of art around Confluence Park. And we got to explore so much of the city in the funnest way possible. If you're visiting Denver, we 100% recommend the scooter tour with Luke on Airbnb. By the way, Luke took all of our pictures. He's just the best. After the scooter tour, we were kind of worn out. We hadn't slept much on the plane and we needed food. We decided to try Cholun, a popular Asian fusion restaurant. Listen, this place is bomb. We loved everything we had there, and we ended up having almost everything on the happy hour menu. We didn't plan to at first, but it was all so delicious. We had the sweet onion and gruyere, mm -hmm. soup dumplings, which might be their most well-known item, and it was delicious. We had their Wagyu beef skewers, freaking amazing. Some of the juiciest meat I've ever had. We had their pork belly bao buns. I still think about that salted pork in that bao bun sometimes. The pork pot stickers with the ginger mustard. How do they make that sauce so good? And we had the Vietnamese drumsticks, which reminded me of Korean chicken. And baby, I love Korean chicken. But it obviously had Vietnamese flavor. And excellent sake. Bro, I was in heaven. Honestly, Going during happy hour is the pro tip, but whenever I fly back to Denver, I am putting aside money just to eat off Cholun's main menu. I loved it. If you're in Denver, go to Cholun. Next stop was Deep Root Winery. I heard that Denver had lots of wineries and I was excited to try a wine flight. I thought myself a wine connoisseur. Alas, sadly, I am not. I ordered red wine and I think it was a bit too red for me. But I did learn something fun, that tannins are what create the drying sensation in your mouth when you're drinking wine, but if there's a lot of tannins, you might find the wine too bitter. I liked the rosé the best, but it was all still very relaxing. There are a lot of wineries to try and I recommend the experience. Explore Larimer Square and 16th Mall Street to find all the wineries your heart desires. Obligatory Duffy Roll mention, yes we tried it, we thought it was good, but not amazing. But then, then, we went to Lucille's Creole Cafe. Oh my god. This food was so phenomenal. Everything that we ordered was so good. The eggs benedict, the potatoes, the french toast, the buttered biscuit. And let me tell you, I've been to New Orleans and I've had beignets from Cafe du Monde. I think Lucille's beignets are better. I said it. Fight me. They're just more light and airy. They were such a beautiful surprise. If you are visiting them, Verge, not even think about skipping Lucille's Creole Cafe. A little later in the day, we stopped by Voodoo Donut. My sister really wanted these donuts. They looked like a sugar attack to me. But we ended up getting a maple bar. It was solid, not the best donut I've ever had, but everyone's tastes are different. If they look good to you, I'd give it a shot. I appreciated how inventive they were. And if that appeals to you, I definitely could see how these would be the donuts for you. 
However, if you like a little bit more of an artisan donut like me, I would try Parlor Donuts, which is located nearby and has flavors like rose lavender and Earl Grey tea. Next, we found a plant store called Rose House Botanicals on one of the main streets in Denver. If you love plants, the earth, spirituality, herbalism, tea, etc., then this is the shop for you. As a plant enthusiast, I was so excited. I found the coolest oracle deck and I bought some tea. My sister found a constellation puzzle and some cool posters. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And it was a little out of the way, but I actually went to their sister store, Apothecary Tinctura, which specifically focuses on herbalism and has certified herbalists running the store. Next stop was a used bookstore. This was another thing on our itinerary that was completely my sister's idea, but I loved it. The owners of this shop were so nice. In fact, I'd just like to take a moment to say that everyone we met in Denver was so nice. Like we said, there must be something magical in the water here. Anyway, I found such a good book for cooking there. The store is called Broadway Book Mall. Please support them. There are a lot of bookstores in Denver, but this was definitely our favorite. Other bookstores in Denver were Fahrenheit Books, which kind of looks like half price books, Mimi Cafe, which had pinball machines, a cereal bar, and general good vibes, and Tattered Cover, which gets a lot of hype, but in our opinion, Broadway Book Mall is better. Yay! And then we went to a crystal shop, which is totally my jam. I got black tourmaline for protection, lipidolite for my third eye, and two bracelets which frankly, I don't know what crystals they were made of, but their energy felt great, and that's the point. The crystal shop was called Denver Crystals and Gems, and it was another great find. We walked around a bit more, and then we went to Sukiya Ramen Shop. So honestly, this ramen wasn't my favorite, but I don't even really think it's fair for me to judge because I don't like pork broth in my ramen, and that's this ramen shop's claim to fame. My sister got the spicy pork broth, and she really loved it. This ramen also reminded me of the traditional ramen you see the characters eating in anime, so if you like pork broth and anime, i definitely try this place. It's called Sukiya Ramen. You can also try Uncle Ramen, which is more famous, but it has weirder hours. We consider ourselves to be good planners, and that's why we bought some pizza in anticipation for our hunger later. This pizza was so good, the reviews said that it would remind you of authentic Italian pizza. And I don't know what authentic Italian pizza tastes like, but I know this pizza was good. We ate some during our painting class. That was the end of that night, and we had a lot of cool outdoorsy things planned for the next day, including the Denver Zoo, Central Park, Civic Park, and maybe the Rocky Mountains, but then it rained. We were almost sad, but then we decided, hey, this is our vacation, and we're choosing to relax, and we both read our books in the Union Station for the whole afternoon until we had to get on the train back to the airport. I hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me, and if you go to Denver, I hope this video can help you plan the best itinerary ever. The full itinerary will also be in the description. So until next time, on Young Chickens. Um, you should come to Denver. It's really good. <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. In the morning, in the evening, or sometime in between, I hope that you will see some Lexi on your screen. Subscribe. How does perfection feel, darling? <laughs>